Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I will be talking about the new nodes that's coming to Sphere Chalk. It's uh, basically new classes for curve, surface, and fields. And these are only a few nodes that's actually available from Sphere Chalk Extra, but it's available officially on uh, just a Sphere Chalk add-on. If you just install the latest, you should see uh, there are three new categories curve, surface, and field. And these nodes, there are a lot of nodes, right? Don't try to learn all of them at the same time. Today, today I even just gonna talk about the, the basics because I'm pretty new with all this and I, I haven't tried all of them, but they are pretty interesting. So a little bit of Sphere Chalk introduction. So if I delete everything here, so you can think of Sphere Chalk, uh, just a little bit like Houdini where you have nothing in the 3D scenes but you have a lot of nodes here uh, all these generators all these nodes that give you the description of what you want to create and if you really just start it you can start with line generator box circle they're a good one Taurus as well you have Suzanne Cricket try with a box for example so you have these nodes you have nothing in the, in the 3D scene there are a couple of things you can do. A quick one will be to use viewer draw and also B mesh. And to connect them, you can connect the vertices. So one by one, uh, if you connect just the vertices, you can see there are eight points of the box. You plug in the edges, you got the edges. Still, there is nothing in the 3D scene. You can hit bake, however. And that's gonna bake the geometry for us. You can also plug in the polygon and bake, and you have a cube. Okay, so that's really the basic of Sphere Chalk so far. We will always be dealing with at least vertices or points in the 3D world. You can plug in the information, a uh, description of edges and description of polygon face. Right, and you have this bmesh uh, viewer which is so this one is just a viewer but it's really quick and fast and I'm gonna delete everything we have nothing now so you can connect this one by one the quicker a quicker way is to select these nodes and tap V it's gonna connect it it's not updated right away you need to just hit arrow keys and then now you can see an objects right so that's a quick one and you can actually let's say randomize you can start adding nodes randomize thing you can add details to the cube and you can do this very very quickly and fast and you can have this matrix stuff matrix just transformations so you can scale for example yeah so that's the basics so far right the, the new nodes let's talk about the new nodes curve surface field it's actually kind of similar. Let me delete everything. Let's try with a, a circle. And now we seem to have a different color for curve. This is actually super interesting. I think we can easily create surface from curves. This one seems to be accepting multiple curve objects. I don't know if we we can join them together or something. Hmm. Or we can maybe we can have we can X through the curve along a vector. So this one seems to be easier. Curve profile, vector, and surface. We should have surface at this point. Evaluate surface. So this one seems to be the nodes. And now we have vertices, edges, and faces. So we can try connect this into surface output. Search output. Or we can just use a viewer draw. Connect this. By the way, uh, so we, now we can we actually have something. By the way, uh, 
I forgot to mention you can also use control and right click on the nodes on a selected node that should give you this temporary stethoscope stethoscope is a node that give you information of what the data is currently having uh, currently is uh, describing if you have like a simple box go back to simple box you can see this is the points of the box is changing as we change the size of the box it has also a description of the edges this is like all the the points that the edge is trying to connect this is the index of the points and for polygon it's the same this is the index of points to make the polygon face okay stethoscope app ah stethoscope nodes i mean so viewer draw we can bake this this bake this is a bake circle that's been extruded So I think that's pretty cool. So it's a, it should be enough for you to get started with curved surface. Fields is an interesting one. Also, fields is pretty abstract. And in order to use field, maybe you have you connected to curves or surface. Fields is like noise or something that can disturb uh, the points of curves or points of surface, something like that. Let's try noise vector field. So this is a noise. How do we connect this to a circle, for example? Um, let's take a look. Mm. We actually have this vector field lines. We're going to use this at some points. We have curve. So this one expecting vertices. Let's save this as curve surface field. We want to disturb a curve using field. So curve, there's a curve formula. I think a, a good one would be to just search here. Apply field to curve, apply field to surface. All right, so those, those are the nodes. So it's a, it's a little bit like learning a language. If you have a bunch of word, or in this case, a bunch of nodes you want to learn and you want to connect them to, to make sense, you need to put it in the grammar, All right? So you have circle, curve that you can plug here and you have this field and the output is a curve we don't we cannot just connect the curve like that we need to evaluate the curve so now it's becoming the normal stretch of data vertices and edges but you also have um, output so you can generate an actual curve so nerves curve output nerve surface output so this become uh, with these nodes that Portnov is porting that he made for Spreadshop, it brings a lot of nerves or parametric curve and surface generation uh, generator and modifier into Blender in a way because Blender itself has ways to deal with curve and surface, but it's a uh, it's super basic. There's nothing much here. But with the uh, stretch of notice, it makes more sense. It's a little bit, my, it's a little bit like Maya actually. Some noise, and we have this. All right, we can resemble the curve very, very easily because it's, it's nerve stuff. We can randomize the seed that disturb the curve. We have circle that we can still adjust. T min and T max. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is the beginning and the end of the curve. It's actually super interesting once you understand what's going on. So I still don't know how to use multiple curves to build a surface, but uh, at least we can extrude it, right? So extrude curve. 
along a vector to make a surface and we can evaluate the surface okay surface evaluate eval surface all right so we learned this a little bit earlier and so we can output it control control left mouse click will give you a viewer and you can just move it over there so we have two things already happening and each one of them is still alive keep in mind that this is actually this is nothing new this is new in blender is not new in Maya for example or Houdini it's very very powerful once you have understanding of this so vector field we have something with curve evaluate curve we can turn the curve into surface so that's really the basics and you can do a lot more not just this uh, so this guy over here vector and field field is really super powerful really really powerful it's a this thing it's a supernatural right you can't see the force unless you apply it into curve or surface so let's make random points random vector plug this in so now we have an output let's see what this one does uh, so we have something right we have worms we can randomize the position starting position of the worms we can increase the iterations of this worm and you get a snake so you have this something that goes out and it goes in circle seems to be there's some kind of velocity some kind of attractor or just a field that goes out and once it goes too far it's just gonna circle around itself it's no longer being affected by the force right we only have a single point to start with we can have multiple and we can randomly place them we can start to see the vector fields that's affecting these points and this vector field lines generate lines based on those points so it's a super handy stuff the different color so now we have a bunch of objects it's all about lines surface and field so that's uh, really what I want to show it to you even though I don't quite understand this it's like learning if you're learning like Aboriginal word or alien words I just learned a new word today for example bungee bungee means mate in Australia friend mate right it's an alien language We draw this piece coming we come in piece all right so that's alien anyway so we learn three new classes on three new category of nodes curve surface and field and this thread this thread at stretch of github give you a couple of examples i want to actually recreate each one of them make videos talk about it because they are super interesting and to create uh, like generative surface and procedural surface it's all very powerful and I actually made something down there there you go I made this some kind of alien creatures you know you want to know how I created this it's actually really simple just just use this curve and turn it into a mesh and then mirror it you're gonna get all kind of different alien looking um, creatures just because look at this look at this abstract curve right if you actually create grease pencil and you start drawing on top of this you are creating um, creatures you are designing a character right this is just an idea 
and then you go back to object mode so you create this creature it's a super abstract it's like kids doodle but kids doodle is really powerful you can turn this into 3d and then export it out as ar objects and you have something and you can animate it and you can create story with it so from the super basic elements of lines surface and some random force you can create something all right hope you find this interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time bye